Hello, I'm Judy Garber, the Ambassador of the United States of America to Cyprus, and I'm here today with Dr. Arato Zakumarkoulis, a former Foreign Minister and former Ambassador of the Republic of Cyprus to the United States. Today we'll be reflecting on the events of 9-11 on this 20th anniversary of this horrific event in which nearly 3,000 people from over 90 countries tragically lost their lives. Dr. May I call you Arato? Of course. Of course. Of course you uh, Arato, you were the ambassador of the Republic of Cyprus in the United States at the time of 9-11. What do you remember from that day? Uh, that was a day that I will never forget. The pain and the suffering that I have seen and witnessed, and of course the whole world witnessed uh, that day because of the horrific attacks uh, against the United States uh, in uh, uh, three different locations uh, with the loss of so many uh, Americans, but not only. As you mentioned, there, are, there were uh, citizens uh, from uh, uh, nearly 90 countries uh, that uh, perished uh, that day, including one Cypriot. Uh, and I want to talk a little bit about him. Uh, Michael Taru, uh, he was a flight attendant uh, of uh, the United Airlines 175, the second plane uh, that crashed uh, on uh, the South uh, Tower. Uh, and he and his uh, fiancée uh, perished uh, uh, so, uh, I do remember uh, Michael Taru. On that specific day, I had a visit uh, from the former um, president of Cyprus, uh, George Vassiliou. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had an early meeting uh, around 8 o'clock. And as we were leaving uh, the room, um, the, the secretary of the director of the center uh, uh, she came to me, she was in a frantic situation, and she said, please give, call the embassy, something is very wrong. And I, I took uh, the former president and we went to the embassy, and of course, we witnessed as millions of people uh, around the world, uh, we witnessed from our TV sets uh, the, uh, the attacks. Um, it was, I mean, I will, I will never forget the images, I will never forget uh, the pain, uh, the anger, uh, the agony, um, the fear uh, that we all felt uh, that uh, day. My husband was in New York, so oh, I had a problem um, communicating with him. For almost two days I was not able to communicate with him. I knew that he was working in, uh, uh, in Upper Manhattan. But you never know. I mean, yeah. uh, he could have passed from the area for, um, you know, visiting a patient or uh, visiting a medical center. So I was in agony also about my own uh, person, my husband. Mm -hmm. uh, then you know about the church, Saint Nicholas mm -hmm. Church, which uh, was demolished because of the collapse of the South Tower, and of course the days that followed, uh, trying to find. Uh, survivors, uh, trying to identify the remains, uh, the stories, the victims, uh, the images. I mean, the, those images, sometimes I still feel, uh, you know, I, I have nightmares. And this is, this is a moment that uh, changed uh, our lives, I think, uh, changed uh, the lives of uh, humanity uh, with uh, witnessing the, the uh, epitome of, of this uh, crime of international terrorism, which we are suffering still now. Many other countries uh, followed, uh, uh, France, UK, uh, Belgium, uh, and, and other countries uh, suffered the same consequences of this uh, horrific crime. Uh, but also, um, I will never forget uh, the determination of the American people. And of course, Cyprus, as you probably know, was one of the first to join uh, this uh, alliance of uh, countries uh, against international terrorism. Uh, we worked with the United States very closely, uh, and of course, we continue to work uh, to uh, combat this, uh, this crime and this situation. Thank you very much for sharing those memories. What I remember so much is, is the outpouring of international support in your yes, life. Cyprus yes. was one of the countries.
countries that was right yes. there with us. At the time, I was serving at our embassy in Madrid. Um, I was in Brussels, actually, when it happened. Mm -hmm. And someone came racing into the room where we were meeting and said, you're never going to believe this. A plane hit the Twin Towers. And we went and we watched on TV. And as we watched as the second plane hit, and we looked at each other. And one of my clear-thinking colleagues said, we need to get back to Madrid now. We were able to get a flight back, and aviation kind of shut down soon afterwards. We certainly got the last plane back. And I remember being, because things were different then, right? We didn't have Wi-Fi on the airplane. No. And I remember sitting on the airplane having no idea what was what going was on. What was this mean for the future of my country? Who was attacking my country? What was happening? Um, I'm a native New Yorker, and the pain of watching those iconic symbols of my city of my birthplace just collapsed, knowing I probably knew people that had perished, and then just that emotion. But what I remember so much also is the outpouring of support for over a week. We had Spaniards lining up, waiting hours, hours in the heat to sign our condolence book, to personally express those condolences. And it was so moving. I was still in Spain when what they call 3.11, the bombings of the trans coming yes, into a touch yes, station yes. happened. And I was driving to work at that time. I had tears streaming down my face as the live reporter was reporting on the deaths. We had three embassy employees that were committing to work on that train. Thankfully, none of them perished. There didn't seem to be a single person I talked to that hadn't been directly affected. And it reminded me so much of all of my friends that I grew up with and how many knew someone in 9 11? Uh, I had a very close colleague uh, who lost their brother. It, it, it goes on and on. Oh, there's so many. There are so many. There are so, so many. many. There were so many. And it's, it, was an, uh, it was an important moment for all of us. And I think for, it gave a new determination to the United States to work with our partners. We're so thankful for a partner like the Republic of Cyprus um, and seeing our cooperation grow and what we've been able to do together. Um, but it's important to remember 20 years on, uh, to remember those people that lost their lives, um, and to renew that determination really to make sure that these terrorist acts um, don't happen. Don't happen again.